is up everybody my name is Bobby I do music and today we are checking out the angle savage module which as of filming is the last module that I own until something else comes out and I say gimme give it to me I need it I don't need it I need it so we're checking out the angle the savage this one was kind of a I kind of hemmed and hawed on, on purchasing this one when I first got it. this is probably the only one that I've been like kind of eh, if I'm being honest here we are it does some things really well, and then it does some other things not, I don't want to say bad. I want to say not to my taste, because everyone's taste is different. This might be good for like some kind of grindcore sludgy thing. Uh, what I'm talking about specifically is the bottom channel. You heard at the, at the intro, the green, is it green? It's teal. The teal channel is really mid forward and kind of dark and cloudy, and I've got the treble cranked. We haven't even talked about the controls. But then the top channel is all of this glorious grind, what I expect a Savage to sound like. Uh, just this German power metal, like modern, but East, like European. And like, it's just, mm, the top channel is so good. It makes up for the bottom channel for me. Hair, stop it. Yes, I'm filming all these videos in the same evening. So yeah, my hair's doing the same thing in all of the last like seven videos. So, We've got the Savage here, and it's it's one of the I think I think this was part of the launch series with Synergy. Um, if not, it was close to it. So we've got uh, independent gain on each channel. We've got low gain and high gain switches for each channel independently. We have a shared EQ, bass metal treble, and then the contour switch, and then independent volume outs. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start actually with the contour down. We're going to go low gain at noon on both channels. And I'm going to try to get these level matched, but it's they sound so wildly different. So here's the teal channel. Here's the red channel. Listen to all that sizzle and that upper mid. That sounds right to me. And then I go to the teal channel and it's... It's almost fuzzy. I don't know, maybe it'd be cool in like a stoner rock kind of situation, stoner metal, doom metal kind of thing. Uh, the bottom channel's not really for me. We'll, we'll go through the EQ of it um, on both channels since they're so unique, but we're going to spend at least more than half of our time on the red channel here just because I love it so much. So the teal channel... Let's roll the game back. We're in low gain mode at three o'clock. Roll the gain up. Well, we had it at noon. Get it up to three o'clock. We're gonna go back to noon and I'll switch from low to high so you can hear the gain difference. So we're in high gain mode now, and let's mess with the EQ, uh, starting with the, uh, well, actually, let's start with the treble. We're going to work backwards on this one, just because it's special, it's the last one. Treble is cranked, and we're not really getting much sizzle out of it. Let's roll it back. How dark do you get? That's gross. Well, 
now comparatively, it sounds better with the treble up. Here's what's gonna happen, because this happens all the time. I'll think I get a good sound on the teal channel, and I'm like, okay, let's go to the red channel. And then it just sounds so much better. So we'll get there in a second, I promise. We're acclimating is what we're doing. And then we're gonna be blown away by the red channel. Let's uh, let's hit the contour. Uh, the contour seems to pull, in the down position, pull something out of the low mids. In the up position, push up the low mids. Actually, I'm just thinking, I've got a buddy of mine who's really into black metal. Hi, Andrew, I know you're watching. Uh, this might be kind of cool for him in the green channel, teal channel. Get those minor third trem picks going, man. That's black metal right there, right? I know what black metal is. Just that really thick kind of lo-fi recorded in somebody's, you know, grandma's basement kind of thing. <laughs> kind of thing. So, <laughs> taking the piss. Uh, so we've got the contour up. Take it down. Leans out the low mids a little bit. It's, it's a lot more noticeable, I think, on the red channel for sure. Let's mess with the mids. Contour down. That is gross. I could see that actually kind of being like, if I take the treble back down, like that could be your gross intro before the drums and everything kicks in, like. And then you go up to the red channel, I'm gonna spoil it. And you get more of a hi-fi thing. Back to the green channel, the teal channel, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. So take the mids out on the teal channel. Gross. In a way, I could see that might appeal to some people. Mids up is like yelling like ha 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 <laughs> it's just gross. Uh, bass. That actually really unclouded the low end. There's something weird going on there. What happens if I just tilt everything? Nothing spectacular. Throw the contour up. No. Let's uh, tilt everything, but like no mids. No, it's just, it doesn't do it for me, man. Like, it, again, it's something I can see other people enjoying for what it is, but it is just not for me. The red channel, zero out the EQ, contour down, gain low, 12 o'clock. That's the stuff, man. That's the... We're going to go straight to high gain because I love it. That reminds me of uh, some of... When I was like college age like 18 19 20 uh and pandora was that's how old i am pandora was first coming out and you could like it was like how to discover new music and uh i, I got into some of the the power metal stuff that was going on around that time and one of the the bands was uh um 
Thunderstone. Uh, if you're into that kind of era, that kind of early, mid-2000s power metal sort of thing, check them out for sure. But it's got that same sort of... <laughs> That's the stuff right there. That's a good starting point for me. Let's uh, let's mess with the gain. Uh, low gain, three o'clock. gain low still. Let's go back 3 o'clock gain high. Tight. It's saturated for sure, but it, it can be tight. You know me, I gotta hit it with a boost. Let's hit it with the uh, the 808 on the bonsai. Well, that's doing something there. Roll the game back. Grind on those sustained power notes, man. Let's do the precision drive just because it's fun and we're here. Yep, always tighter, always needs a little bit more gain for that thing. take it out just because I like it a little thicker. So uh, in the red channel, we'll uh, go through the EQ and the contour again. So starting again with the treble just because it's fun, that's where all the sizzle comes in. So if you really want it to just fizz. <laughs> That's where I go for that sort of like, is the amp about to like blow up kind of sound? Plenty dark too, but man, it, it needs that brightness for sure. Just comes alive there. Scoop the mids with the contour down. Uh, <laughs> boost the mids. And you got a decent lead tone there, Pump. The, uh, let's just add a stupid amount of delay. Pump the gain up there.
Love that Mako delay. So yeah. <laughs> Bring the mids back somewhere reasonable there. I could listen to that just D power chord sit all day. Bass up. Very active bass control, adding a lot of thump and warmth there. And like nothing with it down. Contour on the red show. Adds all of that and uh, if you scoop the mids out, you can kind of tame that. I personally prefer it down. Where like the focus is now on all that upper mid-range grind. Yeah, that's the Savage. I don't love the teal channel. I can see where it might be useful for some. The red channel is Mwah, for that sort of German metal, power metal kind of thing uh, that, 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 that I got into. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for checking it out. This is the last energy video I've got. I'm going to start doing some pedal reviews uh, or walkthroughs or whatever you want to call them, playthroughs. Up next, until another synergy module comes out that I say, give me. Uh, until then, uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. that.